Okay, guys, we start here from the back control. We're gonna work two ways of to apply a submission. Uh, when we go, not just on the seatbelt control, okay, uh, but opposite to the shocking hand. I like a lot to go toward the side of the control, in arm, I call it, okay, because it's the one that controls it for not simply turning. It's what they are, the arm shows, okay. So I wanna go and dig into the side of, the, of this arm, the bottom arm, the controlling arm. I wanna use, in that case, I wanna go to my seatbelt control and my right hand is gonna go and catch his wrist. Remember, the guy is always gonna keep his hands up to defend his neck. So if he starts defending, I can always go push, feed it, go to my seatbelt control right here. Okay, back catching a Kimura grip, pretty much. When I go to my left side, okay, from this direction, once I'm here, I'm gonna connect my right foot on his hip, I'm gonna push him down so my left leg can connect across his body. Like if you're trying to do a, a body triangle. But at this point, what I do is just latch it here because I don't want to fully close the triangle, I want to connect now to an armbar. So what I do from here is gonna loosen up the seatbelt control so my elbow can circle over. Keeping the seatbelt control uh, or the Kimura grip throughout the, the move, okay? And then my forearm is gonna frame his neck, creating this gap between his head and my chest. Where now I can push him away a little bit further, right leg goes over the head, and I'm going to bring my heels to the ground. I'm gonna do a pendulum motion, so I can go and sit up with it keeping the Kimura grip throughout the move. Left leg is gonna be on top of his wrist because he's usually gonna grab his own arm. Right leg is gonna be on top of my own wrist. So you're gonna break the grip, at the same time, they're gonna end up kind of catching a bicep slicer for a moment. Boom, using the Kimura grip. That's when he let go, so at this moment, I'm gonna flip my hand, go on top, catching that, keeping that arm glued to my chest and slowly lifting my hips up. Sometimes you don't even need to lift the hips, just keep the arm glued to the chest and the guy's gonna feel the, the arm. Well, that's one option. Other option is going to go straight for a choke. So you're going to go again, grab, get the Kimura grip, go to your left side, right foot goes on the hip, push your partner down, left leg across the body, boom. Now at this point, I'm going to feed this wrist to my left hand, boom. And at the same time that I do that, right hand is going to go over his arm. Okay, so I'm going to be having to control both arms for a moment, and my right leg is going to step over, boom, here. Okay, once I step over the arm, Right hand now is free to go and attack the neck. I'm gonna climb up, and I'm gonna go for a, a grip of his lapel. And when, when I get the grip on the lapel, I don't recommend to extend your body because it, it, it makes things easier for him to try to wiggle and uh, pass his head under my arm. So once I'm here, I'm gonna keep my elbow tied towards him, and I'm gonna slide it over my wrist. Once I slide it over the wrist, the, the finishing point is gonna be tweaking my wrist like this. Okay, not here, not here or here, it's to the side. Ooh so I can stick out this part of my wrist. So when I climb, when I get here, slide back, and then small twist. And that's it, you get the, you get the submission. And if your partner is super tough, he doesn't tap, you can always go back to the Kimura grip, frame, let go over, one, two, frame the grip, arm back. Okay, so you have always uh, those options when you get to that side, pose.